You know, man. You know, man. Thank God that the Philadelphia Eagles got their ass handed to them by the Green Bay Packers. Thank God they did because I knew this was going to happen. I knew this was going to happen. Didn't I say this back in the Colts game? That the if the Eagles keep trying to pull the shit that they're trying to pull, that they're going to get their ass beat? Well, look what happened. They just got their ass beat by the Green Bay Packers. They couldn't do shit on offense. They couldn't do shit on defense. Final score, man. I don't think the final score really matters at this point now, does it? But if I had to give you the score, the score for Green Bay, it was, I'm trying to look at it right now. It was 53 to 20. The only good thing I'll say that came out of this game was the fact that we didn't, that at least we scored a couple of points, at least. At least we scored a couple of points. Because we straight up got blasted on this game. And I'm happy we did because guess what? This proves how shitty our pass defense is. And I've said this for the longest. I've said this for the longest. I said our pass defense will be the biggest problem coming into the season, and it has proven me right so far. It hasn't proven me wrong. Proven me right. Bomb delivered living shit out of us by dropping 50 on us. Are you fucking kidding me? Mark Sanchez threw some interceptions. Sean McCoy couldn't do shit. I don't, I don't even know how we even scored 20 points because I stopped watching the rest of the game by the time we were still, or the Eagles were still at, what, six points? Three points, I think. That was when I really stopped, I really wanted to stop watching the game. And I'm real happy that the Eagles got their ass handed to them for really one, one reason, because I want to hear Eat That Pussy 445 keep on bitching on his next video. Him and his friend known as Nitro Freak, I want to hear both of y'all bitching. Because Nitro Freak, this is the same guy that said the Eagles are going to go 16-0. That may be some nice confidence, but guess what? All Eagles fans know damn well they are not going 16-0. We are not the Patriots. But, oh, wait, I forgot. Eat That Pussy, you for I forgot. You hate the Patriots, don't you? You hate the fact that this is the same team that whipped our ass in the Super Bowl when you claim it to be Spygate, but let's be honest. The only time I'll claim Spygate on the Patriots is on that um AFC Championship game with the Jets. Other than that, I don't claim it at all with the Super Bowl victory that they got. Simply because, one, McNabb was fucking up. Two, Owens was balling with a broken leg. The only problem with that... Was Andy Reid and Don McNair fucking up on that game? Andy Reid was calling bad plays, got Don McNair throwing up in the huddle. Enough said. Enough said about that game. And another thing, we lost by three points. We could have tied the game. So, let's get that out of the way. Let's get that Patriots hate out of the way. Because to be honest with you, I don't hate the Patriots at all. I actually rather respect the Patriots. Even with their Spygate victory that everybody still gets at them about, and even I sometimes get get at them about it, I still respect the Patriots as a team. So that's out the way. But the fact that you actually go to these NFL games, man, you go to these NFL games, and when the Eagles lose, you want to bitch and whine and complain. Dude, it's a freaking football game. I wouldn't be complaining at all. I wouldn't care if the Eagles would have lost because I know this good and well. Even if the Eagles was to have a bad game, at least I'll say this. I went to a football game, and I had fun watching that football game. At the very least, man. Because it's fucking, it's, it's crazy, yo. It sounds like, it sounds like every time when you got to tweet shit that bad, Tweet bad shit that happens with the Eagles. It just seems like you're so ungrateful to the point where like, yo, what's the point of you being at this game then? What's the real point of you being at this game if I know damn well you're going to be doing the exact same thing like you'll do back at your house, which is when every time the Eagles do something wrong, you're going to tweet about it and you're going to nitpick your ass off. 
as I said on, on my previous video, that Eagles gear that you wear is a freaking cover-up, man. And it pisses me off. You say you can't please everybody, but guess what? You're not pleasing most of the Eagles fans, man. That's what you're that's what you're doing. Not most of the Eagles fans, you're not pleasing. You're probably pleasing what a quarter of the Eagles fans, but not most of them. Not me. Not people that see what you really are on Twitter. That that Eagles gear you have is a cover up. Hell, if anything, sell that shit. Cause what you really need to be, since you want to talk about bitching, is you want to talk about the team, you know, losing, doing this and that. You really should be a fucking Raiders fan. Because mark my words, the Raiders are gonna tie the losing record with the Lions. They're gonna be oh zero and sixteen. That's that's the team you should be on. Cause you're a fucking Fairweather fan, dog. I swear you are. Every time the Eagles win, you want to think the Eagles are the best of all time. But when every time they lose, you want to think they're the worst team, period. Now, let me go ahead and say this, people. This is the same motherfucker that said the Eagles was going to go, what, 3-13? and 13? Two, two and 2-14 two and 14 is up there on my previous video. Look at it. Go right at the end of the video. You will see those tweets, man. Hey, I'm just so fucking disgusted, man. There's other there's other fans from football teams, like, like who should I say? Revolution, right? He's a Patriots fan. Even he agrees with me on this. Giants fans, they'll agree with me on this. And I, don't, I don't even like the fucking Giants. Any team from the NFC East, I do not like at all. But I respect the living hell of them, except the Cowboys, because they're un, because I just do not like the Cowboys. Period. But if I had to choose in the playoffs between who would win between the Cowboys and this team, and this team. I probably will have to say the Cowboys, as much as I don't fucking like them. I respect their players. I respect their team. It's just the fans I don't like. That's it with the Cowboys. But yeah, man. And come the fuck on, dude. Since this loss to the Packers, he's going to sit right now, oh, the season's over. Oh, we're going to go 8-8 eight and eight like the Cowboys. Oh, we're not going to make the playoffs. If that's the case, take all that Eagles gear you have and sell it off right now. Sell it off right now. I bet you a lot of people, that will, uh, they, they, will, they will be able to wear that size. They can wear that, what, XXXL size or whatever. You're not only, little did you know, you're not only embarrassing yourself, but you are embarrassing the entire Philadelphia Eagles fan base. I will say this much. The Philadelphia Eagles fan base, they don't have a good track record at all. They're probably up there as one of the worst fans in when it goes to the National Football League. But for you, you're just making them look even more worse than what they already are. Now, I know damn well there's... A lot of e there's probably not a lot of Eagles fans, but there's some like myself that, like, yo, we're just tired of you, dog. And if anything, if the Eagles are that worse of a fan base, I know this much. The Eagles they don't give up on their team like that. The Eagles fans don't do that, dog. They don't do that. They stick with their team every bad season they have. That one season that I believe we went six and ten or three and thirteen on, we didn't give up on them. We didn't stop filling those seats. We kept cheering for them. We didn't go on, so on. well, at that time we didn't have internet, but even if we did have internet at the time, social media like Twitter, even if we did have it, we wouldn't sit up there and keep constantly tweeting, tweeting, and tweeting, and tweeting about every bad thing that's going on with the Eagles, especially since now because guess what? The Dallas Cowboys are on a bye. They're on a bye week. So if anything, we should be grateful that we got this loss because then we're going to learn from it the next game that we go to. I bet the Dallas Cowboys feel the exact same way with the way how they lost to the Cardinals, with the way how they lost to this team or that team. I bet they felt the exact same way. Yo, get that loss out, out of your mind. Focus on the next one, man. Just keep practicing, keep getting better, keep getting better, keep getting better. The only team that has really been doing 
working their ass off as good as they are, and I respect them too. I I like their fan base. I like every last bit of this team. And that's the Arizona Cardinals. They lost one time, made one mistake, lost that one game, and look where they are now. They are nine and one. They are balling. If anything, that was the team that I wanted to see them win the Super Bowl over the over the Pittsburgh Steelers. But, oh, when it goes to every team, you don't like that one team. You just like the Eagles, dude. I understand you're a diehard Eagles fan. Well, in this case, you're a Fairweather Eagles fan. Let me go and and retract that diehard Eagles fan statement. If you're a diehard Eagles fan, I get that you'll love the Eagles more, but come on, there has to be other teams that that you like. It can't be just the Eagles all the time, right? I mean, I know that for a fact. I love the Eagles. Don't get me wrong, but there are other teams that I like as well. The Cardinals are one. The Packers are definitely another. Another reason, I mean, like, even though even though I'm not happy that they, they whipped the Eagles' ass, but, I'm, but they're still a team that I like. I like them. I like the Broncos. I like the Patriots. Hell, I, I let alone even like the Seahawks and 49ers. I like these teams. I have no problem with these teams, man. But, you know, I guess I don't know football. I guess, you know, I guess I'm just one kid that just looks at football and just say, oh, shit, this is a nice play. This is a good team. That's a good team. But, you know, some people are right. I don't watch football. Not that much. But I know this much. I wouldn't go on Twitter every freaking day, every freaking Sunday in this case. But every time the Eagles do bad or if they do good, I start tweeting shit about it every fucking five minutes. You and your boy Nitro Freak need, need to go join another shitty team. That shitty team, in my opinion right now, is the Oakland Raiders. Go and join them. Pick up their jerseys. Start ranting. Start bitching about them. I'm serious, man. Because you're making these people look bad. You really are making the Eagles look much more worse than what they already had the reputation for. So, you know, that's all I got to say, man. I'll, I'll catch you guys later, man. I hope the next game with the Eagles get better. But for this, man, for this, this motherfucker needs to stop. He needs to stop. Nitro Freak needs to stop. If there's one person out of that, out of that group of friends he has that don't do everything that they're doing right now, and I have so much respect for this freaking person, man. I really do. I have a lot of respect for this person. And I hope that she doesn't change their ways. I hope she don't turn into them. And I'm not saying this out of disrespect for for her. I'm not saying this out of disrespect for her. I'm saying this because I like how she she does her own thing. I don't see her on Twitter every day um saying oh oh um Bradley Fletcher's a bum oh the Eagles going to go 3 and 13. She is what the definition of what an Eagles fan really should be in my opinion. Della here, I respect the living hell out of you, man. I really do. If anything, I will look at every Eagles video from you from now on and look at look at it from EDP cuz I swear he makes the Eagles look bad. And I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna say, I'm not gonna tell you, oh, you should talk to him or you should do this and do that. No, I'm not asking you to do that. Let him go ahead and do his own thing. Because sooner or later, people are gonna find out about you, and they're just gonna be like, wow, she's much more cooler than him. I don't see her um th- throwing an attitude problem. I don't see her doing that, doing this. That's all I gotta say, man. I don't want to cause friction between you two, but I'm saying this as a diehard Eagles fan, out of respect. This is what EDP needs to learn from you, man. That's all I got to say. Later, people.